Hello, in this lesson we're going to take a brief look at ecology. Ecology is simply the scientific study of the interactions of living things with each other and their relationships with their environment. So when you're done, you should be able to explain this concept of ecology. And we'll take a few slides to get into um, a little more detail. I'll try to keep it brief. Ecology principles. Um, so ecology is guided by a number of principles. Each living organism has a relationship with each other um, and the elements in its environment. So all organisms have properties of life, um, including the ability to grow and reproduce. These properties of life require energy and materials from their environment. So when we take a look here at this picture of the Muskegon River, we see living things, um, plants, and probably if we look close enough, some animals um, that, are, that are living organisms, they're going to be growing and reproducing, and they're going to need things from their environment. Other principles um, are that, um, or kind of a continuation, is that organisms are not a closed system. Okay, so here we've got some bears in northern Michigan. Um, and I'm not just talking about the bears themselves. Obviously the bears are roaming around. But the plants, the um, microorganisms, all of those things are interacting with one another. They're not living in isolation. Life needs other life. Um, individual organisms also depend on and are influenced by their environment. So... If we remove the forest or if we're adding forest, um, if we're changing that environment, it's going to have an impact on the animals that live there or might live there. Um, not only the population of those animals, but even their existence. So if you're changing the environment, it's going to change the um, organisms that are living there. Likewise, when you change the organisms that live in an area, they can have an effect on the environment that they're living in. When we're talking about the environment, um, it can kind of be broken up into abiotic and biotic factors. Um, abiotic factors are going to be your non-living, the physical aspects of the environment. Um, examples include sunlight, soil, temperature, wind, water, air. The biotic factors these are going to be your living components in that environment. Um, so, and those biotic factors can include organisms of the same and different species. So I've got an image here of the North Manitou Island. Um, I didn't take this picture, but this is um, one of the areas we visit in our science, uh, advanced science courses, part of our summer backpacking trip. Um, so yeah, see if you can spot some living and non-living things in this picture of the North Manitou Islands. And then also, too, think about what are some of the things that might be too small. When we take into account, again, here we've got a northern Michigan forest. Um, when we take into account the biotic and abiotic factors together, we call that an ecosystem. Um, biotic factors can be very important, as I've mentioned, environmental influences on other organisms. In zoology, um, we're going to be also looking at kind of the habitats where we're going to find these animals typically, um, the foods that they're going to eat, and how those species are important to other species, maybe as food or just in other ways. Um, you throw in the relationship component between these different organisms and again we're getting back to ecology. Alright, so hopefully now you can kind of give an explanation of the concept of ecology. Again, just that study of those relationships and interactions between the living and non-living things in an area or its an environment. As always, if you have questions, see me or our other resources um, in the notes or CK12.